The purpose of this rally today is to show Albany that we care about our students. It is every child's constitutional right to a sound basic education. Currently our state government is not adequately funding this right. Our state aid numbers have been frozen since 2008 school year. And someone in Albany figures that because we have the reservoir here, that we must, and we have second homers, we must be a wealthy district. But we're not a wealthy district. Here's another number for you. 37%. What is that 37%? That's our poverty level in our district among the kids who attend our schools. All of the legislators are fighting for your school district. We need to get the money restored in the budget so you don't have to have the burden of another half million dollar cut on top of the gap elimination adjustment you've already endured. Yeah. What most people don't understand is when the governor said we're putting in 4.4 percent, there's two formulas. There's the state aid formula that gives you money, there's a gap elimination adjustment that takes it back out. And you're actually ending up with almost an 8 percent cut. That doesn't make sense. And I see teachers here. I see parents here, I see bus drivers here, I see union organizers here, and what I can tell you is that, you know, what happened in Detroit, and we've heard about that, caused 40% of the population to leave Detroit. 400,000 people have left Detroit, have left the inner city since they were put on a starvation diet, and that's what will happen to our school district uh, if, if we allow these austerity measures to keep taking bites out of our budget. The elephant in the room is that the children are the ones on the receiving end of this stick. We are contractually bound all over the place, so when the tough cuts come, it is the children who lose. Their sports, their music, their arts, their advanced placement courses, to name a few. Children and families are a lifeline in a community. Taking away the right to a vibrant and well-rounded education and school system will have devastating effects upon us all, as homeowners, as parents, and as advocates for public education. While we focus on testing, changing standards, competition for funding, and politics, we lose sight of the joy of teaching and learning. I appreciate everyone being here, and I urge you to demand that Albany restore our educational funding now. We just have to hammer, harass, be obnoxious, otherwise they will ignore us. We can't let them ignore us because the stakes are too high. So. I can't leave you with much else but to say, keep fighting, be loud, scream, be obnoxious, be the people you don't want to be next to, but do it because this is our kids, this is our community, it's very, very important. Thank you, thank you all of you for your commitment to our children, our schools, and our communities. Thanks again. Just like a tree standing by the water, we shall not be moved. We 